nonetheless, kay Saya, do we agree that Team Solid Boys lineup is more sound? Can, can we say that? Um, I think so, yes, we can say that. Especially if they did mat, they will manage to punish Knucklehead on the Angela early on so that he can go, uh, make use of his, or rather, when he cannot go for a uh, utilize on his ultimate if it doesn't become available anytime soon. So, yeah, though, uh, I'm not too sure because Tira in here is a marksman. Like, the marksman assassin. So they have both that potential to go for a bursty play or a DPS play wherein they could go for objectives. Meanwhile, you can see the 1v1 ongoing onto the top side. Mr. V, just right on time, will be able to save his life on a potential death against Rene J. Yep, and uh, so far they're both staying to their own side of the map and we have yet to see first blood. So, guys, I help you remember, um, the last time we saw Tira on the Roger, did they win or lose that game? I, I, something tells me that they lost. Um, I can clearly remember a lot of things that happened, but I, I think what we can say is that they have to prove that this, Rod this Roger would work as their assassin and marksman for their lineup. Meantime, though, what we can see in here is some kind of a passive play by both of the teams right now. No one went for an invade. Actually, one did. Sorry. One did. It was Renegade going for a cut of minion waves onto the top side and maybe even trying to steal uh, a small jungle camp on the side of Team Solid Boys. Unfortunately, though, um, yes, there was a pressure. Uh, against uh, Mr. V on that Uranus, but uh, then again, no objective tape. But maybe this is the objective tape that we're looking for because three members on the side of Team Jajumon going for a push onto the top side. But in the meantime, looks like they want to punish Cram right now. First Cram blood. forced to back away, and this is the first blood going onto the hands of the Roger Knuckle, forced to dash away and even make use of his flicker. However, though, he will just fall down onto the hands of the League. A one for one trade so far. And uh, it just basically pretty much even out the situation. Though, in terms of gold, we can see that Team Jajamon got a slight lead on that one. Well, a lot of uh, things can still happen though. Mr. V, again, being pressured by uh, Tira as well as Rene J onto the top side. Not, no, Turtle Mr. V, come on. You just, you just go back to the base and clear that later on. If they saw Mr. V getting caught, or not teleporting back to the base maybe he was he got on a he, he will be caught down in a 2v1 situation yeah and i guess this is okay uh both cores got their kills here tan and tira so uh it's still a little down the middle i'd say uh but team jajamon though up a thousand gold already now turtle up kesaya who could be going for it first team jajamon seems to be more primed for this position Looks like they are, especially that the first blood went onto Tira. But look at what is happening on the bot side. Meantime, forced to back away was the ex borg onto that Arbe. And this could be uh, a turtle for Team Jejumon. No questions asked because it's going to be an easy take. Having that marksman on their lineup on the side of Team Jejumon. But finally though, Mr. V getting a space for himself on the top side. Because quite a while ago, we saw him getting pressured by Team Jejumon not allowing him to push and always getting forced to back away. Just the downside in here is that, of course, his push potential is lesser compared to having maybe a side marksman. But meantime, a 1v1 is ongoing. Mr. V forced to dash away. Going for that movement speed. Getting... Uh, um, ML, ah, making use of this flicker to, to hopefully get that one out. But look at that. Roger being an assassin, transitioning to being an assassin, taking down Arbe uh, on the bot side. And they're not even yet stopping as of the moment because they want to continue the pressure on, not just in the bot side, but as well as on the top side, wherein Esmeralda is still going for that push or that clear of many ways. Yep, and... Uh... It looks like MLA is winning that lane. He's giving Mr. V a hard time. And this is not characteristic of Mr. V's Uranus. Usually, Mr. V's Uranus is the one that catches you off guard. But this time, mm -hmm. it seems like uh, Chang'u has Mr. V's number. Yeah. Arbe, though. Well, this is, I think, the first time for today. 
that we see an X board. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so far, the, the recall is just now. I mean, I mean, there's no recall of uh, an X board getting picked a while ago in any of the series that we've casted today. But yeah, no, just the previous punished. match. Yeah, just the previous match we saw an X board. But uh, yeah, I, I feel like our base is having a hard time down bottom. Turtle resurrecting soon. Yeah, especially against the Thavs who can just life steal and heal himself. The top side is also in, in that situation, it seems. Of course, Esmeralda against the Uranus. Uranus's shield will just be stolen by that Esmeralda, so obviously you're gonna win that as an Esmeralda. The Sea Cram, though, will a temporary steal. Nah, -uh, I'm so sorry. You just can't do that. Hold up. You're a grub. Why? Yeah, why did Knuckle take the turtle buff, though? That was interesting. <laughs> I think um, they just, uh, you know, want to make sure that they secure it for themselves rather than yeah, they just went giving for it, it to a graph. Yeah, yeah attempting to They just went hard. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense, makes Doesn't sense. Doesn't matter. Pisai, if I may so, yeah. say so, Grok kind of feels underwhelming these days. Like, he's definite, there's a, definitely a reason <laughs> why we don't see him as much anymore. Yeah, because before we can see Grok dominating even just early game time, even just his level 1. But this time, he, sometimes even if you wait late game, he is just falling off as a tank. Maybe even his Uranus is even better than a Grok. What works for a Grok is, is the walls and his potential to, you know, stop oh. members from going or going for a chase. But meanwhile, let's talk about what's happening onto the top side. This is Stan oh. going for a kill. Tira oh, with the protection. No. Coming from the uh no that was not Angela though. no that was that was that was that was the heart guard was by Nakil coming oh, in on time really? and people finished the job that Tan could not end but they lost two along the way Mr V and Eds Eds was just in the wrong place at the wrong time Changu having the time of his life two zero zero on this Esmeralda. There's so many backup cores for Jejimon here. I just noticed, Kaisaya. You have MLA, that's Chango on the Esmeralda. You have Doggy, arguably, on that Popol and Koopa. And you have Renegade, who is also very much capable of dealing a lot of damage. So, we might see a Game 5. We might definitely see a Game 5, especially again. Um, resurrecting soon. There is a marksman in the lineup of Team Jejimon. Yes, that's an assassin marksman. But... You know, changing forms into going for a DPS mode. Uh, easy take for any turrets. Mm. Here goes the necklace of Durance to at least lessen out that shields, the heals that Rene J has and uh, MLA Chang U has. So that's on the kit. Wow. It's really fast. Turtle you see that? Rene J, Rene J solo the turtle. And then Tira just finished it. That's that's exactly what happened. Killing spree. Yep. Oh. And again, Esmeralda definitely will dominate against uh, Uranus in lane. Just steal the shield and that's it. Another uh, fast turret take. Just gonna be. It's just going to be easy for a Roger. I think you know what. I think Jejimon can end this game. They got the momentum, no turrets I'm, has been fallen down so far as of yet. I'm so curious, why why is Team Jejumon like this? Why do they make odd lineups that are like incredibly make potent? Just, yeah, just to throw off people who are like, hey, this is what the meta looks like. Team Jejumon here, they're here to essentially destroy all our um, previous understanding of the meta. Look at this lineup! It's a Roger, an Angela, a no tank, this, and it's working. Look, Team Solid Boys couldn't put a dent in them. Yeah, they're not really funneling the gold to anyone. Th their strategy is not that obvious, you know. Okay, 1-3-1, one, yeah. one, let's give everything to Roger. No, they want to go allow everyone to go online. Even that Esmeralda, even that... Even that Popol and Kuba, even that Angela, of course, because the power spike is very much needed to all of these utility heroes, like that of uh, Akosi Doggy's Popol and Kupa and Knuckles' Angela. So once you give all those to them, they'll be very useful in terms of assisting you in team fights. So why not? And uh, 
you know, just basically allowing Tira to even free hit soon. anywhere in the team fights. And Team Solid Boy is now obviously having a hard time of that. Look at the gold lead that they have right now, Team Jejamon. 9k. Nine, nine big ones. And this Lord, Kesaya, not standing a chance. Like, I'm not sure if they can even go no, for a contest here. Cram going in. He's too late. Tan as well. Oh, I think he regrets that. Tempest of Blades out as a defense mechanism. And it might have been lethal because in comes Tira. Goes in for the bite. Knocks out Tan. Are they going to follow up soon? Immortality saving the day here. I wonder if they have enough. No, last eternity out to safety. Wow. Tan. They caught Tan. Can you believe that? Finch, poison all. They still caught the Ling. Yeah. You mentioned it a while ago. Defense mechanism uh, of that Tan was his ultimate. And his ultimate could have been better if it was made use as a damage uh, dealer for themselves. But I, I think anytime soon, all the turns might be falling down onto the base of Team Solid Boys. What more if they got wiped out in here? It could be a potential end of the game. But, uh, well, death timers aren't that heavy, but they have the capability to do so, to put this game on.